Hey guys, it's Jess here again with another video. I haven't posted a video in a while because I've been busy and I'm um, filing back in school for I only had a couple of days so far. I got more of the year to go. I only got three more years so I'm done. But I'm going to show you guys my Halloween saw. Although I home like bended. See the chains off because one, I'm going to be using for Halloween. Two, the tensioner is broke on it. I gotta get the adjustment pin fixed on it, but also I'll start up here in a bit. I'm also gonna have to get a new primer ball because the one I was busted still needs the ignition coil which I can find that part pretty fast and such. And I'm gonna start it up here. Started Wednesday, so it should start up. Update on my Poland 2900. I said about, about it on the 
pull on chainsaw page on Facebook and um I'm gonna be setting up a uh a GoFundMe donation pool. I need you guys to help with this, okay? And if I get any crap from this, I'll be taking the the donation pool down off the Pull and Chainsaw Facebook page, and on top of that, I'll be leaving the page and never coming back to it. But I, it's the same with the Fiber Crane page, which I'm leaving out. I'm never coming back to it to that because all they want to do is just fuss around us, so but. That's besides the point. Um, Nathaniel Burke on Facebook says, um, Leatherface Slaughter, you see this video, I need, I really need you guys' help, buddy, okay? I'm not blind when I say, when I say this because, really, the saw's gonna cost me 80 or 90 dollars to get it fixed at the shop, that's that, because it's an old saw. And on top of that, how you're saying how they're somewhat easy to find parts for, where, Manager at the shop told me that they're not easy to find. Like, for an example, if the ignition coil goes out or something, it's going to, I'm not sure how much it's going to cost me to find a good one, but it's going to be expensive for sure, probably. But, I love it, so I really need you to see this video. Other than the home light that I just showed up, I'm used for, the, for Halloween and such. That's if I get a Husky one or th if I don't get the Husky one three fifty, I'm using the home light bandit. But if I do get the Husky one or three fifty, I'm gonna use that for Halloween. Anyways, that's besides the point. But I really need you guys' help with this. And if I get any crap, you will be banned from my channel and such. I will block you and ban you. And I'm not playing when I say that. But uh. If you guys can try to do the best, I can't, you can, so, so you guys can tell me that. Another update is, is I'm doing a, uh, a chainsaw question and answers this weekend, so if you can, comment your chainsaw questions down in the comments below. Also, acknowledge if I can use your name as such. You're going to ask me any type of chainsaw question you have. Um... And also, and other updates. Um, I'm not sure if I'm ever getting, going to get my teeth pulled at any time because the insurance company wants is uh, saying that's not going to cover it and such. I mean, that's besides the point. I'm not sure if that's ever going to happen or something. But, uh, and I'm. Top of that, I got to rebuild the top end on the Poland 3300 and the 2075. The inside of the cylinder has very little scoring, but the piston does have any whatsoever. I'll show you guys on the 2075 here. Yes, I know the ring's off it, but but that I don't think that piston scored. Bit of carbon on it, but I was able to get most of it off of the screws. Or hang on. Let me edit this scene to it. Hold up. Well, I'm not sure if there's any scoring. It looks like that there is on the on the camera on the tablet. Is saying that the looking like that there's scoring, but I run my finger into it. I'm not feeling any grooves whatsoever. And I'll show you guys inside the cylinder here. If I have a flashlight. I'll get you guys a closer look. There's a little bit of scoring inside there, but it's not too much to damage it. I guess it's sending it down, sending the inside of it down and such. So you guys inside the third three hundred exhaust port here. I'm 
I figured you guys weren't going to be able to see that. The lower ring has some I have some scoring on it. I'm going to replace the top end on that. And anyways, that's about it. Like I said, um, Chainsaw Q and A is coming up. I've been wanting to do that for quite some time during the weekend. And uh, in terms of school and such, the video making is going to have to be over the weekend if I can get some time. And really, um, I'm trying to be because I'm trying to stay focused in school. Really, other than or do my job in YouTube and really I need to be able to focus on stuff. It hasn't been so far but I, school year has been going good but that's what I, I'll talk about I'll probably talk about that in another video. Right. Anyways that was just a quick update on the whole of the Home Life Bandit. Like I said I had to tune the idol on it a bit but got it. <laughs> It may still need a proper carb adjustment though. Of course the emission coil and things like that. But that's about it. I'm going to edit this scene, get this video edited, uploaded. I'll see you guys in the next video.